Hey friends, it's Simon Hurley and welcome to another video. I've shared a lot of stamping foam techniques, but I haven't shared using them with embossing folders. So today we're going to cover a couple different techniques using stamping foam and embossing folders to create beautiful cards. For the first card, I'm using the Bold Floral Drape 3D Folder from Altenew. I'm going to use the raised side for this first impression, but you also could use the impressed side to get a whole different effect. And for this, I'm also going to use the Heart Cut Stamping Foam. I'm going to bring in my large acrylic block because I find this helps get a really great pressure when I'm stamping. And I'm gonna use a little bit of mint tape. I'm gonna roll it into loops and then place it on the back of my stamping foam so it holds it down. Any sort of low tack tape works well. I just found you don't want a tape that's going to rip the stamping foam. All right, then I'm going to pick this up with the acrylic black, and this gives it a great solid surface so that you get a nice even impression across the stamping foam. All right, now I'm going to heat the stamping foam for about 15 to 20 seconds and keep the heat tool moving across the surface. I like the Ranger Heat It tool because it gives less focused heat, so it's going to direct it across the whole surface and give a nice even heat across the stamping foam. Once it's good and hot, I'm going to press it in and then rock it back and forth to make sure we're gonna get a great solid impression throughout the stamping foam. And when I lift it off of the surface, check out those beautiful florals on there. And the embossing folder gives a nice deep impression since it's the 3D folders. Now I'm going to peel the heart out of the center because I want to stamp the background and the heart in different colors so we can spotlight the centerpiece. Starting off with the background, I'm gonna use my light gray color called Woof. I love this lighter neutral. And if you guys have seen stamping foam before, I like to apply my ink in a swiping motion like this so that it gives a nice even color across the surface instead of doing this kind of pouncing motion, which isn't gonna give you a great coverage. I'm also gonna bring in a little bit of Shady, which is my darker gray neutral. I love this one for just adding a little bit of depth and dimension across the surface. So I'm just swiping this across the edge and adding some depth to the edges is going to draw your eye into the center of the card where it's lighter. If you want, you can also go in with a blending tool to kind of soften the edge in between those two colors and blend it out nice and evenly. Then I'm going to mist down my stamping foam. You don't want too much mist, no globs of water, just a nice even mist to transfer the color. I'll line the bottom edge up with my stark white cardstock and then it'll follow all the way up and line up really nicely and then give some good pressure to stamp it down. All right, and when we lift that off, you get this beautiful background. And I love those florals with the bold neutral colors. And my inks clean off really easily with just a little bit of water and they won't stain, which is super nice. So I'll just wipe that down and it goes perfectly back to clean. All right, then for the heart shape, I'm gonna go in starting off with a little bit of Prom Queen ink and at the top of the heart, swipe on a little bit of that color. Then I'll bring in some Guppy in the center to provide a nice color change. And then last but not least, I'll bring in my shooting star, which is this bright and bold yellow color. I can blend in between the stripes to get a nice color blend. Then I can line up the heart and stamp it down, giving it some good pressure to make sure it transfers. And then when I lift that off, you get this beautiful design. And I love that the center is highlighted and that the flower pattern continues throughout. And what's even cooler about this is we can take the embossing folder then with the design that we've added down onto our stamping foam. And then it just lines up really easily with the stamping that we've done. And then using the new plate system, I'm gonna add in the platform top. I'll place my Altenew embossing folder in here. And then I'll place down one cutting plate and run it right through. Check out that amazing texture that this adds to the surface. I love that it now has the stamping along with the texture right on top. If we wanna add a little something extra, I'm going in with a little bit of slippery and wet lunar paste, and this little bit of extra texture from that embossing folder will allow us to go in with the tiniest bit on our finger and add a little bit of gold onto the surface. A little bit goes a long way. I'm just taking some from the lid and adding some gold down. And I'm only doing this on the inside of that heart and just adding little touches of gold here and there. Since it's so thin, it dries super fast, but check out the beautiful shine that you get from a little bit of lunar paste. It really brings that centerpiece to life. I'm using a sentiment from the lovely Lantana stamp set. I love the font on these. I'm gonna go in with some anti-static powder tool, and then I'm going to bring in my With Deepest Sympathy sentiment and stamp it down on my black cardstock using a little bit of Versamark clear embossing ink. I'll throw over my white embossing powder and then tap off the excess. And if there's any more, I find that kind of blowing off a little bit will help. If you flick it, sometimes too much powder comes off. And then I'll heat set that until it's nice and bright white. 
With sentiments, I like to fussy cut them out and leave a little bit of a black border instead of just leaving them on a large rectangle. By doing this, it kind of gives it a really nice finished look on your card. So here is the finished card. I love that stamped and colored heart and that we were able to go back in using the embossing folder to add tons of texture to this card. And that little bit of gold lunar paste really brings it to life. All right, next I'm gonna use the Altenew Connected 3D Embossing Folder. And this time, instead of using the raised surface of the folder, I'm gonna switch it up and using the lower portion. I'm gonna use the circle part out of the circle cut stamping foam. I'll heat it up for about 10 to 15 seconds, making sure to keep my heat tool moving all around the surface. Then once that's good and hot, I'm gonna press it in and give it good pressure all the way around so that it goes into the embossing folder. All right, and check out that insane detail this folder gives. And because we put it into the impress side, this is raised on the surface and it'll give us a different impression. I wanna keep things pretty muted since I'm gonna put bright colored flowers on the top. So I'm starting off with cookie dough ink and I'm going to kind of press this down a little bit more firm than I usually would so that it goes into the cracks of the design and down into the lower portions. Then I'm gonna lightly bring in my darker color called Weeping Willow and just go over top of the surface just to hit the raised portions of this design. All right, we'll mist this down so that it transfers. Then we'll line it up and press it down. And I'm gonna give lots of pressure so that in those indents, even press down and give us that nice light color too. All right, and we lift that off. And because it's that 3D embossing folder, you can get that two-tone effect as well since we press that ink down in. Then I'll spray this down and the ink cleans off really easily since it's my Simon Hurley Create ink pads. If you want to return the foam back to the original design, all you do is just take the heat tool and heat set it for about 10 to 15 seconds again and the design will disappear, which is really awesome. So you can keep reusing the foam over and over, but if you wanna keep the design, just don't reheat it and it'll stay in there. So you can keep your stamps for a long time as well. For a focal point on the card, I'm gonna take that same embossing folder and run it back through my Spellbinders Platinum machine using a little bit of stock white card stock. Then I'm easily able to go in with a blending tool and use a little bit of that shooting star color just to highlight the top edges of these florals. And I'm gonna add a slight bit of guppy in the center for a little bit of depth and dimension. Then I can really easily go in with my Fisker's Spring Assist scissors and just fussy cut right around any image from the embossing folder. This is a great way to spotlight some of the images out and use them on your card because they provide lots of texture and dimension. To add a little bit more depth to the die cuts, I'm gonna go in straight with the ink pad and add it right onto the edge because adding this to the texture is really going to bring out all of the details. With the flowers, I'll just run my ink pad over top as well and it brings out all of the amazing details on there. Then I'll add this down on some foam tape and I'm just kind of creating the little bouquet of flowers right around that circle. All right, and then I'll finish off the design with the sentiment from the bold bouquet stamp set. I love these scripted sentiments over here. And then following the brown, I'm gonna use the weeping willow to stamp down the hello friend sentiment that I just put together. All right, and that finishes off this card. I love that 3D background that we were able to create with the two tones of inks and the embossing folder, and then finishing it off with those colored and embossed florals. For the next card, I'm using the book cover engravings 3D embossing folder, and again, this time I'm using the raised side. All right, using the circle cut stamping foam, I'm again going to go in with my heat tool and heat this for about 10 to 15 seconds. Then I can go in, press this down, and give a lot of good pressure and when we lift it off, I like how deeply it impresses it because it's that 3D folder. All right, then for this, I'm going to again go in with my ink. And here I'm using a mini foam blending tool to color in this flower. And it doesn't matter if you really follow inside the lines perfectly. I'm just trying to get the ink generically in this area and not too much outside of it. And this also allows for a little bit of shading. So I can go in with some Prom Queen on a different blending tool and add some shading all over the floral. Then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of green for these flourishes and I'm gonna add the green onto here as well in those specific areas. So this is where that blending tool kind of comes in handy so you can separate out the flowers with the leaves. Once I've added that ink down, I can bring in Shady, which is this dark gray color. And this is where that 3D folder comes in handy. So since there's so much dimension on here, I'm going to then go in with this ink pad and add the gray down on top of the surface so that the raised surfaces are going to collect the gray and the lower surfaces 
aren't going to get this gray color. All right, then I'll lightly mist this down and then we can stamp this on our surface. And again, with this 3D area, if you want that lower area to transfer, you have to give it more pressure than you usually would. And then we can lift that off and check out that impression. It gives it more of a rustic look and that brighter color really shines through. I wanna mount this on a different piece of cardstock. So I'm just going to go in with my fussy cutting scissors and really easily cut all the way around this circle. It's a super easy shape that shouldn't take too much time. I'm gonna add a little bit of mint tape on the back of this. And then again, I'm gonna go in and line up this image really easily with the stamping that we did using the foam and then tape down on the sides, and that way it won't shift when we put it through our die cutting machine. I'll run that right through. And once again, check out all of that amazing texture that this adds onto the surface. I love that you have it colored in with the stamping foam, and then you can emboss it easily. I wanna do a spotlight technique. So I've placed some stark white cardstock back in this embossing folder, and this is roughly where this is going to end up, so it's gonna be kind of centered in the bottom there. Even just embossing a white background makes such a stunning impact with all of that texture. And this will kind of just slot in there and I'm going to adhere it down flat onto the card and line up the design perfectly so that it continues off the edge. I like to go in with the clear sheet too and test down some sentiments. And I like this sentiment that just says, sending hugs and prayers. I'm gonna do some heat embossing, so I'll apply my anesthetic powder tool and then I'll go in using some Versamark ink to stamp it down on my black cardstock. Then I'll throw over my white embossing powder, tap off the excess, and then I'll heat set that until it's nice and bright white. All right, and then I'll place down this sentiment right here. All right, and there we have our finished card. I love this one for that 3D stamping and swiping on the shady ink for a little bit of contrast and then finishing off by embossing the background on white. All right, you guys, I hope you really enjoyed today's video. Leave a comment down below on which card is your favorite. And also down there is a full supplies list to everything that I used. And using those links helps support me, so I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.